Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here, Automation Links. I wanna talk about Black Friday. We are about three weeks out and most of the time, actually up until this year, I have not been prepared. And you probably feel the same way. You know that Black Friday is one of the best things that you can do for your business. You know you can get, increase your sales, you can get more customers on Black Friday. But why do you wait until the very last day last or the last week to set up your specials or your shopping cart? And some of you don't even have this set up at all. So one of the most important things for any business, whether you're a local business or an online business, is Black Friday and being prepared. You can get a ton of new customers, you can get shares, you can get um, increased sales right before the holidays. You need to be there offering the best prices, the best offers, and the best things. Blow out your competition, be ready for Black Friday, and you will definitely see an increase in revenue and especially customers too. So I wanna go over the quick checklist. So, And I'll go over it pretty quick here. You guys can always message me if you have questions. I'm actually working with uh, Wayne. We're about to go live with his site. He's gonna have a shopping cart. And also Joe, he's about to have a shopping cart also on his site. And then even uh, Precious, we just did her website and shut up, set up a shopping cart just like this. And uh, oh, and Jason and Roz, owners of Own Your Eating, they are gonna have the best abandoned cart you guys have ever seen. So let me show you guys this example. Um, it's called Grunt Style. I've done a video on them before just because they have one of the best abandoned cart and shopping cart experiences. Now their shopping cart's actually not that good on mobile, but their abandoned cart is the best. So I added these items to my cart here in their site. Super easy, I can do a quick checkout. Um, I can up the amounts. And if you're thinking I have a local business, I don't have clothes, it's the same thing for your services. You can set up subscriptions or one-time offers for your services right inside your website so when you're sending it out on email, people are going there, they're checking out, and they're making those purchases on Black Friday with whatever coupons or deals you have. So this is super easy to do. Um, we even do this in your website for you. So number one, set up your live checkout page on your website. If you guys don't have anything set up like Shopify or WooCommerce, you need to get that set up right away because how are you gonna sell anything if people can't go to your website and buy anything, right? So you have to have a shopping cart on your site. Next thing I want you guys to do is make sure you at least have one email follow-up set up. So whether I check out or I don't check out, follow up with that person. So if I don't check out on this page, it'll send me an automated email. Hey, you forgot to finish your checkout. Here's the link to go back. Now if I do check out, I wanna be welcomed. I want them to send me an email and say, thank you so much for coming to our website. Thank you for our purchase. Here's your offer. We are can't wait to provide it for you. So you have to have at least one email set up to either thank them or get them back. I already spoke about abandoned cart. If someone gets to this checkout page and they leave, you can actually send them an email abandoned cart or even a Facebook Messenger abandoned cart. So how that works is if I leave this cart, I'll get an email and let me show you this, it's really cool. They sent me a Facebook message about the cart, the items I left in my cart here. This is actually from a while ago, um, I took this picture. So you can actually send them a Facebook message and that customer is gonna be much more likely to click on that and take an action. Um, also, you need to have your copy set ready. So when somebody gets to that checkout page, if you have services or local products, you need to make sure you have copy. Copy is telling the customer how you're gonna help them. We don't wanna tell the customer all about you and your business. They don't really care about that. In the copy, you need to tell them, if you purchase this product, this is the results you're gonna see. So for ours, as an example, if you go to our site, you're gonna see that we're gonna help you increase conversions on your website and most importantly, increase revenue. Now you know exactly what you're gonna get. So if you're a local business, we're gonna help you accomplish this and this if you purchase this product. If you're an online business, we're gonna provide you this and that if you purchase it. So make sure your copy, videos are great. If you don't feel comfortable on videos, the copy's good enough, but definitely I recommend copy and videos telling them how you're gonna help them. Now the next thing you guys need to start and the, one of the most important things about being prepared is having the launch. So you need to start posting everywhere on social media about your new Black Friday specials coming up in the next week or two. So you need to start doing Facebook Lives, Instagram posts, all about that special. And as you see here, I'm gonna switch over to their Facebook page. They're already talking about the Black Friday specials coming up. And I guess this page is not loading very good. So let's go back here um, and I'll pull that up if I can in a little bit. But what they're doing is they have a live video right here. 
This is just yesterday. Are you ready for Black Friday? We are. They're doing a Facebook Live telling you about what they're gonna be giving away for Black Friday. You can also give them hints. You don't have to give them everything you're gonna provide. So let's say you just aren't ready yet. You don't know what services you're gonna offer or you wanna build some anticipation. Give them little hints on what is gonna happen on Black Friday. Get your customers, their friends, their family, or potential customers excited about either the deals or the products that you're gonna be offering. Obviously, you can add bonuses and extras. Um, you know, our, our sessions or our training is this price, but if you sign up for Black Friday, you're gonna get another month, you know, just as an example. Now you wanna start letting know all your prospects know about this. Send out emails, uh, Facebook messages to them, letting them know about what's happening on Black Friday. So the whole goal with the launch is to get them excited about coming to your shop. You don't want them to be excited for Target and Walmart. You want them, and Best Buy, don't forget Best Buy. You want them excited to come to your website to purchase the Black Friday special and make sure they know exactly what they're gonna see and what they're gonna get. And then the last but not least is the follow-up. Email follow-up and reminders. You're gonna keep sending those emails. Even after they purchase, you can actually get um, upsells. So we already got the abandoned cart covered. So after they purchase, you can add an upsell, another item. You can give them the product and then a couple days after Black Friday say, hey, we also wanted to offer you this. You can get three times revenue from an upsell. So by providing the emails, building a stronger relationship with the follow-up, whether they purchase or not, that's what's gonna keep customers coming back and referring people. And even prospects that don't buy continuing to come back to your cart. Um, like we mentioned before, welcome emails. Always make sure you continue that relationship. Build the relationship, which will lead to the upsells. Thank them. I always do thank you videos. Thank you so much uh, for purchasing this. This is what you should expect. Tell them what they're going to get, what they're going to expect, and you will definitely see an increase and probably one of the best Black Fridays you'll ever see if you do this right. And always add to Facebook Messenger, which we recommend. So if you don't do it during the abandoned cart, after they check out and pay you, send them to the VIP list in Facebook Messenger. That way they know they can always reach out if they have any questions or if they need any help. Just like this, we sent they sent uh, me right to the Facebook Messenger. Now I know I can reply back and say, hey, you know, I have a question about this shirt. How does it fit? Or I have a question about your service. How will your service help me? So I wanna encourage you guys to get this set up. Be ready, be prepared. If you need any help, we're gonna set this up for you. We will help you out. Just leave a comment below, yes, and I would definitely appreciate it. Um, we got Own Your Eating, Roz and uh, Jason. They're ready, they're gonna be ready for Black Friday. We have their Facebook Messenger abandoned cart set up and ready to go. Um, I've got Precious, her website just went live. She's got the whole shopping cart experience, um, low prices, medium to high. She can now go and add coupons and discounts if she wants. And then I have Wayne, his website's about to go live. Joe's website's about to go live. They have their e-commerce set up, ready to go. So when Black Friday hits, they're making sales, increasing revenue, and helping more people. Um, thank you guys for watching this. Please share it. And of course, send me a message if you need any help setting up your shopping cart in your site. I hope you guys have a great day.